Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a beaded gecko. It's a beaded lizard, they're called beady buddies, some people call them that. This is actually the mini version and I'm pretty sure that I made this up. I learned how to make these in Girl Scouts, but we were taught how to do giant lizards like this and actually the one I made was all green, but I don't know where that is. And I wanted to find a way to use less beads and make it miniature because I really like tiny cute things so I came up with this. Alright, for materials you'll need a pair of scissors, about 30 inches of craft lace, and here's what one of the packages looks like in case you can't find it at the store you should be able to. And you'll also need pony beads and keep in mind they need eyes so you'll probably want two black ones or dark blue or something of that sort. So I'm going to show you how to make this with craft lace but you could use ribbon like this one. You could use little tiny seed beads and thread like this one. This is a, my favorite one. You could use yarn like I did for this inchworm. You could use smaller pony beads and this type of string. I don't know what it is. This type of string and you could also use wire. This is thick wire. You can also use key rings to put at the top instead of this little loop. You can make a lot of different animals and objects using this method with the pony beads and string. I'll show you all the ones I've made at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. First you need to take your craft lace and put the ends together. Then you're going to make a knot at the top for the loop. This is a pretty good size. Then pick out the color of beads that you want to use. You'll need at least 23, but if you want the tail to be longer, you can use a couple more. Lay out these beads in the gecko pattern, and I'll show you that. Laying the beads out like this will make it easier to put your gecko together along the way, so you won't accidentally use the wrong color or forget what beads you have out. Here's the head, these are the body, these are the legs, and these five are the tail. You're going to take these top two, string both of those on one end of the string, take the other end of the string and thread that through the beads as well. So, like that. And then pull these beads all the way up to the loop at the top. Next take this row of beads and then do the same thing with those. Thread them on one end, put the other end through and pull them up to the top. There's the head. Now get these two beads and do the same thing with those. Now it's time for the leg and this is a little bit different of a method. You're still going to put both beads on. Whichever color you want closest to the body, that's the one you're going to put on first. I want the light green. So I'm putting the light green on, then the little bit darker green. Instead of threading the other side of your string into these, you're going to take this one and just put it right back through. So you're only working with one string this time. And just kind of work that down to the body. Then repeat that step for these beads over here. Now you have two legs on. If anything gets loose, you can tighten it up very easily. Your next step is to thread on this row and then this row using the same method you did for the first three rows, the head and the first part of the body. Once you're at this point, you need to put the other two legs on, these two beads and these two beads. Here's what your gecko should look like now. Thread each of these beads on one at a time. That will create your gecko's tail. You're going to use the same method that you did for the head and the body beads. So just thread one on and put the other side through, pull all the way up to the body. And repeat this for each tail bead. Now your tail's complete. Go ahead and tie a knot or three or more like I do. I just always worry it's going to come untied. So I make more than one knot at the end and I pull really tight. I'm just going to make like five, okay? Then you can trim off some of your extra string at the end. Okay, it's all done. These are pretty easy, but if you have any questions, just ask. You can use these for a zipper pull, a keychain. You could also find a way to make it into a little bracelet. So now I'm going to show you my gecko slash beady buddy creations. Here are all the mini geckos that I've made out of some sort of craft lace. This one has a key ring on it, and actually most of these are in my block sale box, so I'm open to selling most of them. Here's the ones I made out of ribbon, including the larger one over here. I'm getting rid of all the little ones made out of ribbon, so. Here are some I've made out of various types of string. This one's thread, this one's thick wire, this one's thin wire, but it broke up here. That's floss. These are just like various types of string, I don't know. 
Here are three inchworms, an owl, and a Christmas tree. And these guys are really, really tiny. They're made from thread and either plastic seed beads or glass seed beads. And actually, these two over here are made out of wire. The ones made out of wire, they can actually stand up. This one was always my favorite. I had wear it around my finger as a ring in like third and fourth grade. I, just, I loved it. It went through so much. So that's how you can tell that a single piece of thread is really durable because I did so much to it. My friends and I would set up like a gecko amusement park and they would go swimming in the water and do all these games. Yeah, we were very creative back then. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Add me on Formspring, Twitter, and Tumblr if you have those. And have a great day. Bye.